Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul Kiva Labs. So in today's tutorial, we will be learning why software testing is necessary. Okay, so a small definition of what is software testing. So software testing is a process that checks the bugs and errors in the application for a good performance and it helps to make the software reliable and usable. So testing uh, plays an important part and it is an important cycle in the software development life cycle. So let's see why testing is necessary for a software. Okay, so here you can see the reasons why testing is mandatory. So let's have a look uh, one by one on each of the points. So number one we have is end user customers happiness. Second one is minimizing the risks at a later stage. Finding the bugs and errors, early errors leading to less cost later on, smooth development of the application or software, maximizing the profits for the company, and the last one, making the software adaptable to different environments. So let's uh, see each point in detail and uh, let's explore the options. Okay, so very first point is end users, customers happiness so obviously when customer gives you some requirement and those requirements are not fulfilled so obviously customers will not be happy so below are the points that we can see to ensure that customers are happy for what uh, you have developed and what is being tested so very first point is user friendly software next we have the customer needs that are satisfied and gaining the customer's confidence for yourself. Coming to next point. Minimizing the risks at a later stage. So obviously when you are testing a software and some bugs or errors are leaked. So that may pose a risk to the customer and to the software as well. So let us see the points. So uh, minimizing the risks at later stage helps to secure the software, prevention of bugs before they can minimize the losses to the competitors and try to stop the data leaks and gaps. So obviously if the issues or the bugs that are identified beforehand, so at the later point of time the software will be successful and the client will be happy. Coming to next point, finding the bugs and errors. So an error that the tester finds is known as a defect. And obviously a defect in a software product reflects his inability or efficiency inefficiency sorry so if you're not able to find the errors in the software that may lead to high cost and the customer may not be happy so testing is mandatory so you need to focus in finding the max errors and helping in the reduction of failures or faults Next point is early errors leading to less cost later on. So obviously when you're doing testing, you're finding the early errors before giving to the client and you are removing the glitches beforehand. That means you are minimizing the errors and that means later on uh, the client can expect a good software and uh, he or she has to spend less amount in order to rectify the errors. So obviously less errors means less cost. So which should be our target and even a small simple bug may lead to the failure of the software and that may lead a heavy cost to the client. So better to find the errors beforehand so that the clients are happy. Uh, next we have the smooth development of the software and application. So testing is mandatory uh, in order to get a good software. So appropriate time should be spent on each of the stages in the software development life cycle and extensive, extensive uh, testing should be uh, the main focus of the testing team. And a good option will be uh, to test the software parallelly with the development so that beforehand you can uh, find the issues and you can rectify them instead of uh, getting it linger on and uh, later uh, leading to big faults. And of course, it helps to find early defects and thus minimizing the pitfalls. Coming to next point, uh, maximizing the profits for the company. 
so obviously the testing if you're doing a good testing so it should achieve higher success for maximum profits uh, it will enhance the company's image in competition with the errors and your customer will be happy and he would like to work with you with your company because you are delivering a defect free software and of course good software implies good testing has been done so the next point is uh, making the software adaptable to different environments so these days uh, we have different devices we have uh, different systems different browsers different mobile devices so if your software is not compatible with any of uh, the systems so then it's not a perfect software so it should be able to perform in all the environments and experience should be positive for the customers so from a customer's perspective software should be able to give maximum profits and thus should be successful in each of the environments then only we can call it a successful software and a good testing has been done so this is another reason why testing is mandatory So thank you very much guys for watching my video and uh, these are the important points uh, why testing is mandatory, why you should do a thorough testing and uh, your customers and clients should be happy and uh, you should deliver a good software. So hope you like the video and uh, do subscribe my channel and keep learning in life. Bye bye.